than usually the narrator is. Welcome to our hot cooking show. In this show, we're going to find out what heat really is. Heat is the movement of thermal energy from a substance at a higher temperature to another at a lower temperature. Let's find out how heat is transferred. Conduction! What is conduction? Well, conduction is the heat transferred from one particle of matter to another without the movement of matter itself. Now you see, this part is hot now. So while it's hot, the heat from the pot is, con is conducted to my finger. And in that way, that's conduction. Conduction. Oh yeah. Another way that heat is transferred. Right. Another way that heat is transferred is radiation. Now, if you want a tasty, warm, and toasty, fluffy ball of goodness, you should try radiated marshmallows. Now, first, you put them in this microwave here, place them in very gently. You should close the container, press a, press a couple of buttons, press start, and wait. About 30 seconds will suffice. Just look at, the, look at that band sizzle. Wow. Wow. Look at expanding. Probably take the out. See, the marshmallow's atoms are getting scrambled, so it will look, fluff up and turn big. They fluff and then shrink. Hot fluffy balls of goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> After you're done with your hot fluffy balls of goodness, they go great with the cup of hot vanilla. Now they get sticky after they radiate, so you might have to. Really sticky. It's mine. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Another way that heat is transferred is convection. Let's find a tasty treat to demonstrate convection for y'all. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Boiling squash water. casserole. Squash Boiling casserole. water. It's one of my favorite dishes to make of all time. So simple and so great for parties. Okay. So you see, to boil the water, we have to use the heat transfer called convection, which is the movement of transfer, the movement of convection. It's the movement that transfers heat within the water. In convection, heat is transferred by the movement of currents within a fluid. A fluid is a liquid or a gas like this water here that I will soon pour into the pot to boil. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now, now that the water is in the pot, we'll turn on the heat all the way up. It's going to boil really fast. Okay, it's taking too long. We're going to speed it up a little light. Okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, is boiling water. You see, it boils because the water that's at the bottom gets heated faster because it's closer to the heat source, which is the fire. And so, the fire. And so, the water that's at the bottom and gets hot rises up to the top because it becomes less dense than the water at the top. The cold water then sinks down and heats up and becomes the hot water. It continues cycling. It continues cycling until all the water is heated up thoroughly and um, starts boiling. That hey, is convection. Hey, good, how are you? Alright. Yeah. I wasn't really filming. He can be cool. <laughs> Put the monkey back over.